Geelong City is the first of the 350 projects and uh, our task here was to deliver three additional bedrooms for the staff. We're standing in one of those facilities, so we have a, a typical standard king size bed, uh, wardrobes, the one for each of the shifts, uh, an ensuite um, shower and wash hand basin between two of the dorms and then there's a third bedroom further down there. Associated with that there's also been some additional joinery uh, uh, in the office area and also some turnout lockers to accommodate the three extra staff and a bit of an external work. So a nice little compact job um, and we started in late May, late April and, and we finished uh, mid-June so it's been a pretty tight program to achieve the June recruit deployment so we're pretty pleased the build has been excellent in working with us to achieve those dates and the staff on site have been very accommodating as well. Uh, yeah, I guess it allows for a bit of more expansion. It probably allows for us to uh, fit more staff eventually with the growing needs of Geelong and the surrounding areas. Areas like Armstrong Creek are, are increasing in uh, sizes, a lot more people moving to the area. We start, the new recruits coming out at the end of the month. Um, we needed to upgrade the facilities here to be able to house the recruits on station. Uh, those extra recruits will help us have the staffing in our appliances that we're running for in a pumper and our rescue and Rondo is running two each so we'll have a minimum, at the moment we've got a minimum staffing here of 11 so and down the track as the program expands that we'll be able to accommodate the expansion um, with hopefully an extra leading firefighter in our two pump.